Okay, so now we're really ready to get into the final section, and that is just to add the feedback meter and wire up some triggers to tell the meter to change based on the learner's score. So if I jump back to story view real quick, I can grab that meter graphic. There it is. And remember, I've got to select just that small circle, right, because that's really the object. I can't select it outside of there. Control-C to copy, and let's jump back over to the result slide. Control-V to paste. So nothing's going to happen here, just like we saw before. Uh, there's no points. So if I do a quick preview, Control F12 should see 0% score and a meter that's still on uh, its default initial state. Close it. A couple things. Go ahead and give this a new name if you want. Feedback meter. It's fine. And let's go ahead and set this up. So a couple things here. Right here I can see whenever you're and we only have one example here in this slide, but if you're working with multiple results slides, multiple uh, results in a project, this is the name of the result slide you're currently working on. So when we actually uh, adjust and, and we, we trigger, wired up the triggers, this is the result slide we're going to want to look for. So let's go, I'll show you that in just a moment, but I just want to tell you that this is really helpful when you have multiple uh, slides with uh, results. So going to go ahead and create my first trigger and my first trigger is to really change the state of my of my feedback meter change it to something based on uh, the learner score now we can kind of skip one of these right for zero since our initial state is showing zero we can actually just skip that it'll show that if the learner gets nothing but we'll add triggers for everything else right the 20 percent the 40 percent the 60 80 and 100 that we need they get zero, we'll just leave it alone. They've got enough problems, right? So we want to change the state. Change the state of what? Our feedback meter is uh, to state, right, 20, right? So I'm going to leave the zero. That's why I'm jumping over the normal state. It's already normal by default. I'm going to change it to 20, and you can see the other custom states in there. So change it to 20%. When the timeline starts, so as soon as we enter, as soon as this timeline starts, as soon as we enter this slide, I want it to change. So the timeline starts, but we need to have a condition. The condition is really to evaluate if the score is 20. So that's where we use the conditions. So I click conditions. Go ahead and add a condition. Now this is where that results one slide is actually going to come in. So my variable, I want to know what the variable is currently registering, right? What is it? What is it reading? So in this case, okay, ah, so look at this. I actually must have done a test Res, uh, test quiz results before. Remember when I told you that the results one was the same, was the results we're working on? If I had five or six of these, it would see results one, results two, results three. And this first one right here was from a test results. So I'm not using those right now, but you can see that they're still in here as available uh, variables. So I don't want those, but I just looked at it on my slide and I can see that I do want results one. Two ways you can go about this. You can evaluate the score percent or the score points. We have the percent on our slide, right? Move that over here. We were working with results one percent. I can do the points if I want, that doesn't matter. But in this case, I'm working with percent, so I'm actually gonna select that for percent. So score percent, in this case is equal to, my value would be 20. If my score is 20%, give me 20. Now, if I had done points, because each of these currently by default, each of the questions only shows a 10 point value, well, then I would need to change points to 10, which is really the lowest value. But again, you have all those options, but for now, let's just keep it simple. We're working with score percent and our value is 20%, then show me the state 20%. And we'll go ahead and continue and add another variable, this time to change it to the 40, right? It's custom state 40, if the percentage points is 40. Now we can actually save ourselves some time by coming down here and copying and pasting the trigger we just set up. And we'll just paste it in, and there it is. Double click it, and let's just make a change here. So I still want to change the state of the same feedback meter, right? This time we'll change it to 40. And when the timeline starts, 
And the only difference here is we're going to double click our condition and change that value to 40, right? Show me the state, the custom state 40 when the percentage is equal to 40, right? Now I can paste it again because I still have it copied to my clipboard and I can come in here and select this one, change it to state 60 when the timeline starts if the score percentage is 60, right? So once we have one, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, right? We're just going to keep uh, copying and pasting and then just make those changes to the actual a trigger. So double click it and we want to change it to state 80 when the timeline starts. If our value is 80, click OK, OK, paste it, and we'll do the last one for 100. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a quick test, see how we did, and see if everything looks like it's sort of working okay. So preview, preview this scene. And all the answers are true, right? That was just sort of makes this easy for testing. So I'm just gonna click submit. I'll keep each one of these as true. And let's miss the last two. Or actually, we'll miss one and see how it is. 80%. And there's my 80%. Let's try replay the scene. Let's go ahead and miss all of them, except for one. We'll get 20%. And there's my 20%. You can see that right down here, and maybe we need some additional color to visually indicate that we failed, but um, uh, the slide layers are also showing Right, those so are those based on we said 80%. So anything lower than 80% will show the feedback for the actual pass or fail. But we're actually changing our graphic dynamically based on the percentage results. Now, a couple other options we could have gone with. We can actually with our I'll just show you this real quick. We won't really build it out in this example, but with the results equal to, let's say that you had a lot more uh, sectors and a lot more. Um, uh, scores that you wanted to present. We don't just have to do equal to, we could do things like equal to or greater than and have different numbers in there, right? We can put a range, we can add additional uh, conditions to say if it's between 80 and 85% show this number. If it's between 85 or 86 and 90 show this one. So you have a lot of options for combining triggers and combining conditions to really fine tune the level of detail and the feedback you want to give. Totally don't need to do it for this example, but essentially that's how easy it is to create and build your own dynamic feedback meters in Articulate Storyline.